So, of course, no video about Alton Towers Scarefest would be complete without starting here in this garden. Um, obviously, there's a lot of things have, um, have been placed off of here. We've had queue lines. So in the past, we've had uh, the sanctuary running, the sanctuary queue running along here, running all the way in and going in through the conservatory and then going left when you get there. We also have, if you go through the, the conservatory and go up, is where you go to Terra at the towers uh, the attic uh, now there's no news whether that's coming back this year or not um, it was one of the only attractions left in the actual main part of the towers so we may see it we may not obviously we've seen some new spaces where things could actually be happening uh, other years the original um, terror of the towers what lies within used to go through an entrance at the back of the conservatory there and used to go down obviously into uh, the area where uh, all the vampires were this door behind me has been the entrance to um, Nemesis um, subspecies, um, which was obviously the first really full contact maze uh, that Alton Towers did, where you got separated, you got grabbed and everything. So yeah, there's been a lot actually in within these buildings. Now, how long they're gonna be allowed to keep scare mazes within the towers? They make a great building for it. Um, but, you know, I think, um, English Heritage don't particularly like them building scare mazes inside this this listed building, which is obviously right in the middle of Alton Towers property. So I wouldn't be surprised if over time they don't all get moved out. Um, we've already seen uh, there are two different locations where like brand new structures are planned to be built, whether that's this year or next year. They, they've got the planning permission for them. Um, the only other space is right around the front, which is right down the lock, um, down in the... Uh, the lower portion of the towers, which is where Alterville Mine Tours, the Skin Snatchers is. Now, don't forget, Skin Snatchers had a brand new story last year. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see that one back. Certainly when I was here before, there was still a lot of stuff going down, on down there. But yeah, it's peaceful now, but I do love it at Halloween when this place rings out the screams of people in the scare mazes. So um, yeah, very soon we shall find out what's happening this year. And the last part of this tour is we're outside where um, skin, uh, skin Snatchers, uh, Alterville Mine Tours used to be. Uh, also, for those who don't remember, that is the door that um, the tunnels used to come through in subspecies, and you used to come all the way through the, through the building, crawl through some tunnels, and then you'd come into some packing containers. It always looked messy um, here in the front of the house, yeah, packing containers here, but actually it was quite a good finale watching people run out of um, the scares at the end. So, um, since I was here early in the year, um, these bar barriers have all been put up, so we can't actually see what's going on down at Skin Snatchers. Um, so whether that's coming back or not, we don't know. Um, as I said, we don't know what's going to be in the towers this year. With the two potential new locations, um, anything could happen. And then of course, we've got the new thing happening down at the dungeons. So um, yeah, it's going to be um, going to be an interesting year for Scarefest this year. So uh, yeah, we will look forward to the announcement very soon so this is the other area that's often used for scarefest so this has been home for the last two years for the invitation now i know a lot of you hated the invitation but it was fun they tried to add a bit more to it at the end last year um yeah, fair play they stuck to it fort park just bins theirs um not sure whether it will come back but um that used to be on this site here obviously we also had Toxic Junkyard was here um, several years ago. Um, that was a great sort of indoor, outdoor uh, experience and uh, looked great at night, it was really well lit up. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see if we do see anything come here. It's quite a big open empty space, but it would have to be a self-contained uh, packing container maze or uh, a marquee or something. So uh, yeah, we will see, but uh, at the moment, no news of anything happening. And one other location of uh, Scarefest mazes or attractions was the burial grounds, which uh, went round here, round the back of Wicker Man. Uh, really good fun last year, so hopefully we might see a return of that. There's Wicker Man in the background. So who knows? Um, who knows what we're going to get? So we are here at the, um, the strange location. You can see that there is the monorail track. And there is a pathway there that goes under the monorail track up to a piece of land up there. Now that is one of the areas where there was planning permission given for a temporary structure which looks just like survival games at Fort Park. So it's um, meant to be a storage facility but there's a pretty good chance that it could be something for uh, Halloween. 
doesn't look as if there's anything built up there yet. We can't see it from the outside, but uh, if it was here, it can either be connected to the Cursor Alter Manor just down there, or it's not that far away from Forbidden Valley where Nemesis is. So um, yeah, no, no confirmed news as to what's going to be there, but uh, the fact that a building has been applied for and uh, planning permission has been agreed, uh, we shall see what comes in. So in addition to what I said, you couldn't actually see anything over there in front of the monorail, but uh, if you come up the back of the toilets, um, at the back of the Cursor Alta Manor, you can see there is the building that I mentioned, which is effectively the same shape and style as uh, survival games at Fort Park. So the planning permission for this, and obviously that's now been built, so there's a very good chance that will end up being used for a scare maze. There's planning permission also been granted over for the darkest depths area. I don't think there's anything over there yet. But um, there, you can see the building is already here. Of course, one other area where there used to be um, Scarefest attractions was Haunted Hollow. So for the two years uh, after Haunted Hollows opened, you had Haunted Hollows Live. Um, first year was probably the best. They had some really uh, lively characters. Um, Doug the uh, Grave Digger and... Uh, a few that had a funeral directed by the by the big hearse and whatever. Um, I think there were a few problems. That, you know, it was people were sat out here in the dark on their own and um, probably didn't work that well. They ca they ha came back for a second year and uh, there was a bit more a bit more structure to it, how people could come in and go and whatever. But yeah, that only lasted a couple of years. Um, so would we ever see anything back on Haunted Hollow again? Well, we will just have to wait and see. So I'm back around the back of Dark Forest, and this is the spot where uh, Dark Its Depths has been for several years. But you can't really see, um, but I've had a peek through the fence. There is nothing there. Everything has gone. The whole of Dark Its Depths has gone, and the uh, parade building that used to be there, it used to be storage for all the parade floats, that's all gone. That area is now completely empty back there. Um, I have had planning permission again for another um, structure, a bit like uh, Survival Games at Fort Park. So could this be another location for another new scare attraction for this year? Well, of course, while we're talking about scary stuff here at Alton Towers, we had to have a quick go on Nemesis Subterra. We were lucky. I, <laughs> there was a group of really young screaming girls in there and, uh, and some screaming boys. And um, yeah, they really, really loved it. And the actor in the final tunnel um, was really throwing himself around, really, really going for it. The screams were brilliant. Um, it's always a fun ride. It's great to have it here and uh, we always give it a go. So um, yeah, you know, remember for a while it was Project 42 at Halloween. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to get a makeover this year. So um, something else scary to do when you're here at Scarefest. And of course the last area where there's anything uh, for Scarefest is usually here. This is where Daz Games Panics debuted last year. Pretty sure with the um, with the license and whatever, that'll be coming back this year again. Nothing has been confirmed, but uh, if it does, it's pretty much likely to go in that marquee again. So um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see if Daz Games gets here. Last last year, the queue to meet Daz was longer than the queue to get in his attraction, which was a bit weird, but uh, I'm too old for uh, YouTubers like that. But anyway, so <laughs> that's... Um, that's probably a roundup of all of the all of the uh, different maze venues. Um, some speculation there as to what's coming and what's not coming, and uh, let's see when they make the announcement very soon. Okay, so we're now over in the uh, far corner of Alton Towers, and obviously you can see we're right by the dungeons. We'll talk about that in a minute. But this building behind has been where Trick or Treat Town has been in the past. Um, again, we're no news if that's coming back, but uh, that was really good fun last year. We got lots of chocolate and lots of sweets here by the Burger Kitchen. And also, I'll just point out, obviously, over there is where Monster House was. Now, um, that was a great uh, house of monsters. Now, that was a great attraction at the time. Really enjoyed it. Um, obviously, that room is now, well, that whole building has now been used for Gangster Granny. But, uh, yeah, House of Monsters was great fun, a real family attraction. So let's hope that, you know, Trick or Treat Town or whatever they do down here is as fun and um, engaging as that was for all the family. Because, obviously, We've got the extreme um, scare mazes over there, and Trick or Treat Town is really for the smaller kids, but House of Monsters was a, a good equal mix in the middle. So um, we shall see, but uh, with that, we're gonna head over to the dungeons. Well, this is it, guys. This is the one we've come for. So this is, it's half past four on Tuesday, the 2nd of July, 
and is the last known operating day for the Alton Towers dungeon. Now, they haven't confirmed whether it's definitely going, they're just saying it's going to be closed down and repurposed for Scarefest. Um, so depending on the level of repurposing, um, we don't know what it's going to be and we don't know whether the Alton Towers dungeon will come back. I'm hoping to get an official line from Alton Towers and if we did get that, we'll insert it in here. But um, yeah, it's been here for about four years. Um, it's always been a fun attraction. It's been a, a Marmite attraction. A lot of you don't like it, don't like coming here, don't like the fact it's pay extra. But for those who don't like roller coasters or going upside down all the time, uh, it's something else to do while you're at the park. It's a fun little synopsis of other dungeons. It's a 40, 45 minute attraction. It uses the boat ride that used to be here for Toyland tours and uh, around the world in 80 days. And all in, it's a fun little attraction. So we are gonna go in, we are booked in for the last group. Um, and we're gonna go through and we'll let you know what, what it's like when we come out the other side. So that's it everyone, we've just come out the last, I'm not gonna say the last ever, I'm just gonna say the last this year of the Alton Towers Dungeon. As I said, we still do not know officially whether it is coming back or not coming back. Um, they, haven't, they haven't told the actors that they haven't got a job next year. All they've said is that it's going to be repurposed for Scarefest coming up very soon. I know that they are going to be in there tomorrow, um, starting work on the Scarefest attraction. So, um, yeah, it should be very, very exciting. Uh, we have got news, um, hopefully coming soon, of um, what's going inside there. So, yeah, um, so let's just talk about that final run through. Um, I've been expecting a lot more people. There were only eight people in our group. Um, all came for the last, the last production. Um, the actors were just having fun, um, they absolutely were just enjoying uh, taunting people and um, they all got a round of applause after every scene which was really nice for them. Um, we're going to miss it, as I said earlier, like it's a Marmite attraction, some people love it, some people hate it, we always do it when we're here. Um, you know, it's been here four years now, um, whether or not it comes back, honestly we don't know, but we had to be here to pay our final respects. So. For the last four years or so, just want to thank every single actor who's um, we've experienced in the Alton Towers dungeon. We've always had a good time. You all put on an amazing, amazing job. And um, yeah, we're going to miss you. But in the meantime, we will see some of you at uh, Halloween. The next time we will be back at Alton Towers will probably be for Oktoberfest. And then that'll be the last build as we get ready for what's going to happen um, for October. Um, yeah, um, Scarefest, which is in October. So with that, we're going to sign off and uh, we will see you all soon.